path will be monitored closely on Monday. Countless people are traveling to see the eclipse. The excitement goes back decades. WFMY News 2's Manning Franks gives us a history lesson. On April 8th, this is a spectacle of nature that's sort of rare. And it, it is the universe really highlighting that it's three dimensional. The sun will be eaten. Or at least that's how ancient China perceived it around 1200 BCE. So ancient peoples would have seen this more as gods interacting or portents of evil, perhaps. We have ancient Babylonia, ancient China, re records of eclipses, which um, is surprising in that those records have actually been useful scientifically. While eclipses have been around for millions of years, the first possible recording wasn't until roughly 3,340 BCE via rock carvings in Ireland. Later, ancient China and Babylonia gave us the earliest confirmed sightings centuries after that, which led to a startling discovery. 900 million years ago, the day, the time for Earth to spin once, was 19 hours long. And over the last 900 million years, the Earth's spin has slowed down, so that's now what we call 24 hours. Yep, you heard that right. The Earth is slowing down, albeit very, very slowly. Still, how does a solar eclipse tell us that? In one particular record in Mesopotamia, in Babylonia, that uh, from based on the records where they saw an eclipse, if the Earth had been spinning at a constant rate from then to now, the eclipse would have happened at a, a, a different longitude. Apparently, this is from the same phenomenon that causes the tides at the beach, only on a much larger scale. And as the Earth spins, that essentially creates a friction. So it's, it's kind of like you had a kind of like you had a globe, and it was spinning. And well, why does it slow down? Because of friction with that axis. Okay. But in this case, it's actually the friction of the solid body of the Earth with the Earth's oceans and the tides. Okay, so eclipses may not be instances where the sun has been eaten, but that doesn't mean they're any less awe-inspiring. Here on planet Earth, I'm Manning Franks, WFMY News 2. And you can celebrate the eclipse with us. Meet us at Triad Park in Kernersville on Monday from noon to 6. Please bring your own eclipse glasses.